After I make sure that all that matches, I then would run that driver's license through the DROS system database, okay, which is dealer record of sales run by the California Department of Justice Bureau of Firearms. After I've run that, it comes back actually relatively quickly if you're a California resident, okay? That process costs you a dollar. It denies you or it approves you. You want the name of my firstborn son as well? Maybe the name of my dog? What I ate three meals ago? How about a psychological exam? I'm surprised that isn't on there. What's up everyone? Before we get started, this video has been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now I play this game personally, this is my profile. Now my top three reasons on why I play Raid is there are awesome bosses to defeat, amazing champions, and the graphics in the game are outstanding. Now Raid has prepared something special for all new players during the holidays. Get ready to celebrate the 12 days of Raid. The event is running from December 19th to January 10th. First download Raid, the link is in the description. Log into this website, input your player ID from in-game and start to interact with the site. Each day you experience a new chapter of this wintry story and play a new mini game for a chance to win amazing in-game and real life prizes, including holiday themed Raid champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan my QR code here and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. $30. We're talking a free epic champion Tyrell, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost. And one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Everyone, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. So politicians have been relatively unsuccessful at disarming America. And ultimately, it's something that will never happen. So for the elites and the lefties and whatever we wanna call them, they have to come up with a new idea, right? And so all of a sudden, we start to see articles about bullets. Yes, bullets. They're trying to get politicians to essentially make California's ammo laws federal. So let's start with that. Why don't we hear from someone from California on how they do their ammo sales there? It is shocking. So if I have a customer come in the shop that wants to purchase ammunition, okay, I have to, they can only purchase with a California driver's license or ID. So if this person is here visiting from Nebraska or Minnesota or any one of the free states in America and they come here, they cannot purchase ammo in a timely fashion. Oh, that's good because you know, criminals wait for you to get ammo and to be ready to defend yourself, right? Hey, sir, I know you want my wallet, my keys, probably want to steal my truck too, but I don't have ammo right now. I just have the gun. So unless you wait long enough for me to pistol whip you and run. Can we do this a different day? Doesn't really work like that. So if you didn't go through the process of getting a real ID and you come in here with your California driver's license, even being an American born citizen, even being an American born California citizen, if your driver's license says federal limits apply, I now am required to get proof from you that you were born in America. So you have to provide me with a passport, you have to provide me with uh, a birth certificate or a social security card along with that driver's license. Okay, well let's wait a second here. So if somebody goes to California, let's say they move there, I don't know really who would, but let's just say that's the case. They move there and they have a Texas ID, for example. They're waiting for their new ID in the mail. These ammo laws have them check if you're an American citizen, even though you have another state's ID from America. I mean, we're just coming up with new ways to describe stupidity every single day. This is one of them. Give me a break. From there, I then have to go back into that system and record the sale, exactly what you bought. How much of it did you buy? How much did each round cost? What's the muzzle velocity? and all these other things. This is simply for record keeping on the state's part. <laughs> they just track everything. Oh, this guy bought a box 
of 12 gauge. We better record that and make sure that this dude isn't doing a school shooting. This is stupid and other states want it and I'm sure Sleepy Joe wants this to be a federal deal. I mean, what, I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna show up to someone's house? Oh my God, you got a thousand rounds of nine millimeter. Well, yeah, um, I'm going to a firearms class tomorrow and we go through about 750 to a thousand. So what's your question? Okay. This is so that they can further track and probably further infringe down the road how and what you can purchase. Agreed. You're right on point there, sir. All right. Um, then I can sell you the ammunition. And then to make matters even more complicated, within the city of Sacramento, I'm still required to, to record your information, get your thumbprint and your signature, and then enter that information into a separate database that's overlooked by the Sacramento PD. The only time I know of when you give your thumbprint is when you get a suppressor. They're making them do it for ammo. So let's get to the article on what kind of sparked this conversation. It reads, bullet sales are rising. No shit. You need bullets in order to fire a gun. Is it that complicated? It's kind of like you need a hose in order to use the faucet on the side of your house to water your yard. If you don't have the hose, your water just kind of makes a lake on the side of your house and that's it. Bullet sales are rising and so are death totals in mass shootings. Can they be stopped? Okay, Janine Santucci, let's debunk your little article here because this is, this is funny. The gunman in the 2022 assault armed himself with more than a thousand rounds of ammunition. That may seem like a lot to you, Janine, from the USA Today, but when I go to the range, I go to the range. I go there to practice. I go there to get better. So a thousand rounds, you go through that pretty quick. Standard AR magazine holds 30 rounds. That's around 33 mags that you've gone through. 33, not that much. But to you, you guys see a thousand and you go, oh my God. A thousand? I don't even have a thousand pairs of shoes. There aren't even a thousand pronouns invented yet. That's how y'all think and it's stupid. Just stop. Each year billions of bullets are sold in the US making bullet sales a booming business. I mean, how much aspirin is sold a year? Billions of pills? Yeah, because people get headaches listening to y'all's crap all day long that don't understand guns and clearly don't understand ammunition. Are we gonna say next that America's drug problem is contributed to aspirin pills from the headaches we get from listening to you guys? No, we're not because it has nothing to do with y'all's agenda. This part's great. Ammunition plays a large role in mass shootings and ammunition has been historically less regulated than firearms themselves. Well, I mean, you got the part where you say ammunition plays a large role, kind of correct, because a gun is literally worthless unless ammunition is in there. I guess you could hit somebody with it, like take your AR and swing it like a baseball bat, but ultimately, you're probably better off using a baseball bat. Okay, let's get to the regulated part. Ammo is useless without a gun. Yes, I know Coleon Noir just posted a video about how a whole bunch of bullets went off, but that's an act of God. There's probably one, two, or three instances where that's really a realistic thing. If it was a true problem, we'd be hearing about it all day long because these guys don't miss a story on any of this stuff. It hasn't been regulated that much because one is useless without the other. Remember the scene in Full Metal Jacket where they talk about their rifles and how their rifle is useless without a trained Marine? Same the other way around? Same thing with guns and ammo. Look, just admit you guys failed. You're not going to ban guns in this country. You're not going to take them. And now you're trying this little side thing where you think, oh, well, if we ban or regulate ammo, we can control the guns. It's not gonna work. It's not.